Well, millions play fantasy football, build your own team, compete against your friends, and many players are now starting to think about how to fill out their roster for this year's football season. But it might be a little more than fun and games. It could, in fact, get you a better job. Our sports business reporter, Darren Rovell, following the money. Darren. Dylan, one company saying that organizations lose as much as $19.6 million for every minute in the workday that their employees spend on fantasy football. But one man thinks fantasy football can be very productive at the office. It's that time of year again. Fantasy football junkies absorbing all the information they can, crunching numbers and predicting breakout performances, agonizing over whom to draft at quarterback, Peyton Manning or Tom Brady. But did you ever think that your office league could lead to a promotion? These office leagues, they're made up of employees from all different levels of the org charts, from entry-level employees to senior-level management. And it creates uh, interactions that may not happen throughout the typical workday. Michael Henby's book shows fantasy players how to use the game to their advantage. Well, a conversation will last longer when fantasy football is involved, when, especially when it's involved with two people who are in the same office, who are in the same league. Henby's work featuring a fantasy football conversation topic schedule broken down by month, also emphasizing the importance of seeding the league with upper management. Henby thinks he's on to something, but others are cautious to endorse his idea. I'll be honest, I would be wary of going to the CEO of my company and saying, listen, uh, our draft is 3 o'clock on Tuesday. I scheduled it right before the big meeting at 3.30. So uh, uh, would you like to be in? It'll be fun. It'll be a great time waster for all of us. Will Leach is editor of Deadspin.com, a popular sports blog. It's sad to take that little time where your brain gets to check out from work for a little while to work on fantasy football and to have to maneuver in, okay, uh, I have to make a bad trade with the CEO, but maybe I can... I can I can screw over the, the underling uh, so I look better, but I still have the CEO win. Henby actually covers that. Making a lopsided trade is the first deadly sin of fantasy football networking. One should not do anything unethical when they're playing fantasy football because if they do, that could be perceived as a character flaw, which could then compromise for future uh, networking relationships. With the average fantasy player being classified as a 39-year-old male who makes $75,000, Henby has many potential customers. It sounds like a good idea, but uh, I mean, I, I, if, if that's what we're coming to, where uh, fancy football as corporate networking tool, uh, I think maybe fancy football's gotten too big. Henby's book hit.